Hi everyone, let's talk about Lorenzo Il Magnifico, Houses of Renaissance. So if you remember my video from last year, I really, really enjoyed Lorenzo Il Magnifico. I thought it was a fantastic game and I think it just missed out on my top 10. Or Yeah, I, think, I don't think it was in the top 10 of last year. It was like number 11 or something like that. It's a really, really great solid game, a really, really tight game as well. And I'll just mention quickly up front, there's nothing to do with the expansion, but I saw Rado's video after, you know, we'd kind of finished playing and... We hadn't played two players since, I don't think, but he had the idea where it's, it's an incredibly tight game. The production spaces in two players get completely blocked off and there's only one chance for each person to go there. There are other ways and the expansion does add more ways of doing it. But Rado uh, had just kind of taken those off and said, well, I'd, I'd, it's, it makes the game a little bit, uh, well, not easier, a little bit less uh, less restrictive. But, you know, the punishment of getting three pips knocked off your thing is very, very punishing anyway. But anyway, just thought I'd mention that. We really, really liked that change to it. Uh, I, I liked the game as it was, but yeah, it was one of those where it's like, this is incredibly tight and there's such panic is saying where I might not get to do this at all. Like, it's okay if I don't get to activate all of them or I need to spend a load of works or something, but I might not get to activate them at all if I don't do this. Anyway, that's just as an aside. The expansion, really, really like it. I really like... Well, anytime you it's it's in some games from the start, but anytime you start the game with you know individual powers now, and we kind of get a choice over what we get as well. It's all laid out there. In in two players, you know, it's it's you're going to be one or the other, and uh, yeah. So the the auction is absolutely not going to be as interesting in a two player game when you when you make it three, four, five players. Any kind of auction gets more interesting. It's not really an auction, is it? It's it's kind of how. How few resources are you willing to start the game with to be this, uh, to have this special power? And it's a really, really nice system. And you know, it will change based on what is underneath that person. You know, maybe their power really wants faith points, and the stars and resources are really going to offer a load of faith points. Well, that's perfect, isn't it? There's going to be a lot of uh, competition for that. But then on the other hand, by competing and outbidding each other, you, suddenly you're not getting all those faith points. So was it worth going for that power altogether? I really like the system, but as I say, it will, it's it's going to be the least effective with two players just going between each other because make, like it could just be, well, I want the most starting resources. Okay, well, I, I, I don't mind being this power. I'll have the most starting resources as well and we'll just go that way and it's not really an auction. But yeah, that's just a two player thing. The secret tower, not the secret tower, the special tower. I really like that. It's got a lot of surprises in it, a lot of different things that you won't see every game as well. That's, it's not really a criticism. Lorenzo Il Magnifico, I think there were promo cards that I didn't get last year, but if you've just got the base game, the cards for the four towers, there are only enough for the game. So they're going to come out in a different order and that is going to change things up and they're going to be at different heights of the tower and be you know easier or harder to get but they will be the same cards all of the time. That's not true of the special cards. You just pick eight out of quite a lot for each era and you don't really know what colors are gonna come out in the tower as well. And so that's gonna affect the game a lot. I don't think it's bad that there aren't any variability in this, but I suppose it's it's a thing that could be in there in the future, although there's then, then game balance and stuff. But yeah, when, when I saw that, you know, oh, an extra tower is getting added to it, I thought, well, that's, that might affect you know how uh, how restrictive the game is how tight the game is that it's it's very uh, it emphasizes a lot in the base game that you know once somebody is in this tower you have to pay extra you can only be in each tower once and that's why your you know your zero worker is uh, effective because he's not necessarily your color so he can go in the same tower as you so adding another tower would surely you know open it up even more but that's where this overlay comes in and it's a really really nice touch that you can see where it's kind of moving across the game. It's moving across the board every round and you know that, oh, next round, yellow cards are gonna be really difficult to get. So even if something comes out that I desperately want, maybe I should just take that, this one now so I can start generating stuff because I'm probably not taking a yellow card next round. And you can see how it's gonna cycle. You know, in two rounds, it's gonna be on this tower and that tower. It really, you know, it, it tightens the game right back up again. And it's got a, a function for five players as well. That's that's kind of a plus for, for me. I, I don't think I'd ever play it five players. I've played it four players once and it was it was very good still it's still very enjoyable but I tend to you know two players is so fast I, I, I miss that you know even even something one of my favorite games like Castles of Burgundy playing it at four players it gets incredibly slow when I'm used to just being you know speedy two players anyway yes but you've got that option now though and you can play pink Rach wanted to play pink so she's got that option now tons of new leader cards that yeah weren't that much of a factor in that they were they were part of it and they were nice and stuff and they were maybe more situational than others but 
now that they give things like actions or their their requirements are different they want you to get special tokens or they want you to get uh, one had points in the military but have no points in the faith track they have more interesting requirements than just get this uh, get get this set of cards out or do this it's got more interesting interactions and the fact that they can give you special actions that only you have access to that's a really nice touch as well so yeah all together yeah it's 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 still a very tight game. If, if, if the thing that was holding you back was that you could only play it with four, then obviously this is going to sort it out for you. Other than that, I think it's going to be the standard situation of if you liked Lorenzo Il Magnifico and you are interested in more, this provides a lot more. The, the, special, uh, the special tower does provide some very, very interesting cards that just go on your board and mesh with all of the other ones. The special powers that you get are really cool and the way that you get them will be really interesting, I imagine, with more players. But yeah, it's it's not gonna unless you had certain issues that now you, that you couldn't play as pink, then it's gonna solve them for you. But otherwise, yeah, it's if you liked the game and you wanted more, perfect. If you didn't like the game to begin with, I don't think this is gonna change you know core issues with the gameplay. But for me, I really really enjoyed Lorenzo El Magnifico, and I am just pleased to have it out, have it played again. It's another one of those games where I haven't really played it. I've maybe played it a couple of times after the playthrough. And haven't played it since then. That's 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 about a year ago. So, <laughs> as with Aeon's End, I get I get to get it out again and enjoy it. And yeah, still really really uh, happy about Lorenzo El Magnifico. So that's it. I think. Thanks for watching, everyone. And I'll see you for the next game. Bye.